So today I'm joined by Lee Ancrum with the Ancrum Institute here in Tulsa. And, and Lee, I want to say hi and welcome. So thank you. Hi. Hi. So I was outside earlier today and it's gotten pretty hot here in Oklahoma. You know, it had been so mild for a while and I was out doing work and it's like, I had to grab my bottle and I thought I'm so thirsty and everybody knows that hydration is important. But then I started thinking, you know, I'm not exactly sure why. So I thought we're going to ask you, what's the deal with hydration? Why, why does it matter? What's up? Well, I'd like to actually hit hydration in two different prongs, if you don't mind. Yeah. The first thing about hydration is that when you're dehydrated and you're not having enough water, what happens is, is both muscles and fascia in the body actually get dehydrated or they begin to actually, it's weird because the, what they will do is in the dehydration, they'll get a little tighter and they'll end up sticking together. So you have this hydration, big time hydration need that's not only just for the muscles, but also for the fascia. And that's what happens the more dehydrated you get, the tighter every all of the soft tissue gets and the more it sticks together. So that's one level of hydration. Okay. 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 So another level that's really, really, I mean, like off the charts, much more important to really think about is, is that hydration is super important because of um, deeper in the body systems that are deeper in the body. One is the kidneys, of course. And you know, your kidneys are a really big filtering organ. Okay. So they're filtering, um, whatever the liver sort of doesn't filter as well. And, you know, it's filtering. And when you don't have enough hydration going through, then your kidneys are getting more, more congested. So you need hydration actually going through for this kidney congestion that can happen. Okay. Okay. The other thing that's really, and then I'll let you, cause you have a great mind. I love <laughs> the questions that you ask me is that, and the other thing is that's even at a deeper level around hydration is the fact that inside each of our cells, there is a cytoplasm, which is just a gel form of fluid. So one of the things that dehydration is also going to do is you're not going to get enough exchange of intercellular fluids happening. That is in turn what creates things like, you know, you to hold toxicity in your cells and you to actually not do good cell metabolism. And so for me, the muscles and the fascia being stuck together in hydration is, is, is the more surface part. But you have these deeper issues dealing with both kidney and at a very deep level, the cells themselves. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. That, okay. Yeah, that's interesting. So yes. I, when, when you talk about fascia, I always go back to that whole idea about sticky stickiness, you know, the, the lack of movement, right. you know, and, and so, right. So do, is, is that why people sometimes when they get dehydrated, they, they cramp up too? Is that, is that part of the reason, you know, I've heard about that when, People get cramps, muscle cramps because of dehydration? Well, the, the muscle cramping from dehydration is, is that you have an electrolyte balance, okay, with sodium, potassium, and calcium. So you're having this, you're having an electrolyte balance. And one of the things that happens is if you don't get enough fluids and you become more dehydrated, then you're leaving yourself more open to an imbalance within that system, the electrolyte system, and you can cramp more. Definitely. You can cramp okay. for sure. Okay. So yeah. then let me ask you about electrolytes. <laughs> yes. So, you know, there are all, there are all sorts of products out on the market. Yeah about, you know, drink this, drink that, and it's got sugar in it. I saw one the other day and it's like, it had just about as much sugar as a soda pop did. And I thought, okay, I don't want to be doing that. So are yeah. there simpler ways no. to get those electrolytes without buying, you know, something sugar laden? 
Well, you know, I'm not a huge proponent of buying any of those sugar laden things. And I sit more in the camp of if you have the right minerals and you're taking a healthy mineral and mineral balance thing, then you're going to be more okay. But if you have to work out, you know, if you have to work outside and it's heavy yeah. duty and it's hot and humid and you are sweating, then even, you know, sometimes I've read, just put a little sea salt into your water and drink drink that to help your electro to help your balance your mineral balance actually stay in a healthy place so if you're excessively sweating for whatever reason working lifting i don't care what you're doing then you may want to do that i mean i put minerals in uh you know i put sea minerals into my water every morning first thing early in the morning so i'm already starting with the right kind of mineral balance into the body okay you know yeah. so it's it's along those lines for me you know is that you 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 want to preemptively not like have to get into one of those states and then have to like drink and do all this stuff to to get yourself back together so if you're doing a daily deal of having healthy minerals and so forth then i think that you're going to be okay when it gets into weather like it is that makes yeah. sense so be proactive um because in the yeah. long run that helps your your body to stay hydrated when you start off with you know more electrolytes and even if it's simple sea salt but that can make a difference and help right. you know, that way. And that makes sense. You know, it's better to be proactive about something than to try to, you know, put out the forest fire at the end. It's better to, you know, yeah. take the steps that you need, yeah. you know, for the hydration. And I know that here in Oklahoma, when it gets so screaming hot and it's humid, you know, when people are outside, they're going to sweat a lot. You're going to lose, you know, a lot of moisture. So you do right. just, you know, keep that water right. handy. Um, let's talk a little bit more though, right. before we have to hop off of here about kidney function and, you know, how important that filtration is, because when you were talking about, you know, that deeper tissue system, and if your kidneys are getting, um, I don't think you use the word stagnated or clogged, but you know, if they're overloaded, so keeping hydrated, right. Help, talk to us a little bit more about the kidneys yep. and what that does. And I, I'm thirsty. So I'm sorry. I'm going to take a drink. Well, you know, I'll just say. <laughs> You go for it. You go, girl. Thirsty. Is, well, one of the big thing about the kidneys that thirsty is the big thing about the kidneys is that most people don't realize is that 60% of your blood is going through your kidneys every minute, 60%. So every, every minute, 60. Yeah, I know. Is that a statistic or what? Wow. And so what? Yes. And so what happens is the more congestion you have in your kidneys for whatever reason, whether it's you're dehydrated, you're not putting enough fluids through yourself, or whether it's some other, you're eating lots of toxic foods or something, uh, you're getting a lot of that in the congestion in the kidneys will slow up and actually sometimes increase your blood pressure itself. So that's just a little aside about the kidneys is that, but you have to be hydrating to put stuff through. So I also want to say this also makes me think of is that men and it's men and their physiology, men and their physiology. It's so important for men to be drinking enough water and to getting enough hydration through. And they, a lot of times tend to be the ones that don't because here's the deal is that part of the anatomy of I'll just say your urethra actually is surrounded by their prostate. And when they don't put enough water through, then that actually doesn't keep the prostate as, um, what's the word I want? Well, let's just say as healthy, is that they need to put water through like just like women do, because women do do that. But the anatomy of a man dictates that the more water they drink, the healthier they are prostate. Now, there could be other reasons for prostate non-health. But let me say that you have got to drink because you've got to get water going through that ureter that's being wrapped by the prostate. So there's so many aspects to be needing to hydrate that are so much bigger than my muscles got tight and 
you know what I mean? And I, and I got cramped. There's so many deeper reasons for it. For the hydration. You know, that is for that hydration. Is, yeah. So guys drink up. I mean, just, we've got to drink, keep, yeah, drink. keep, and we're not talking about yeah, drink. We're talking about keep water going, keep right. that going. That's fascinating. That, That's right. You know, wow. Okay. So let's tell people that, um, about, I know that you do body talk, a body talk series. People can come uh, to the website, the, the Ancrum Institute.com, right? Um, and find you on Facebook. Yes. And we want to let people know that we're going to be doing these yes. conversations every month. And that if somebody has a question they want you to talk about, you know, take a deep dive into yes. anything. Send, you can you can reach out to Lee on Facebook. You can reach out to the Ingram Institute on the website. You can reach out to us all, here on Facebook or the Natural Awakenings website, naoklahoma.com, and send us a question um, because I know Lee would love to answer them, right? Abs oh, absolutely. Yeah. I would love to answer any questions. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My, my next talk is on the gut. So, huh. you know, my next talk in uh, the second Saturday at three, whatever it is, I'll, I don't know what the date is. It's on my, <laughs> it's on my Facebook page, website. but the, my next talk will be about the gut and working in the gut. Okay. So go follow the Ingram Institute on Facebook, follow uh, along with the Ingram Institute, their website, uh, follow along here with Natural Awakenings, and we'll bring you more great conversations with Lee. Thank you. I know it's always a struggle when thank we have you. technical you. issues, but you know we get it all worked out. It's great information. It's so important for people to hear. So we thank you, and I hope you stay hydrated, uh, keep those kidneys working, and guys, you know, get to drinking. <laughs> Here's to your health, Lee. See you next time. Bye, Lee. Thank you so much. See you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again for another conversation with I'm Shauna Warner with Natural Awakenings Magazine. Y'all have a great weekend.